Hi again, um, I'm glad you could come back if you survived the last video. So in this one uh, we're going to look at how we upload the video, uh, the actual image itself. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the W3Schools uh, image or file uploader script. So uh, here it is here, I'll just go to the top of the page so you can recognize it. Uh, what I do is I tend to search on W3Schools file upload or however you want to find it. But uh, all I'm interested in, it does walk you through what it does at each step. I'm just going to grab the complete script, well, all by the PHP tags anyway. So I'll grab all that and I'm just going to copy that and return to my confirm page. Okay, so you can see here we've got my uh, checking at the top where we're setting the, um, the sessions. Clear some space here. I'm just going to paste it in there and the formatting is going to be terrible. So I'm going to go through and reformat this as I explain what's going on. So to start with, what I want to do first of all is I need to check and see, um, as I'm fumbling around with my notes here, forgive me for a second. Um, oh blimey, my notes are all out of order. Terribly disorganized, so here we go. Okay, so what I want to check is this thing over here. This files up, file to upload name thing. So I want to check and see, has it actually been set? So, rather than using is set, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to go um, file to upload and it was name. All right, if that doesn't equal blank, in other words, there is something, then we're going to go through and do all this uploading stuff. And I have a feeling I've made a mistake here somewhere. What have I done? Oh, there's a missing apostrophe. Great, it's better. So, I, if that has actually been set to something, then we're going to try and run all this upload stuff down here and then I'm going to go down and put a close that off there like so and I'll put a little comment that says um, I don't know, the code below only runs if no image is selected okay and we'll get to that a bit later on all right so next thing is if statement let's indent this. The target directory is the name of the folder in which the file will be uploaded to and I'm going to change that to images for mine. Then the target file it just basically takes the name and the directory and combines them. Now it sets up this upload OK variable. It's set to 1 by default that means it's going to work and it's going to do a number of chain, uh, tests and if at any point it fails a test it sets that variable to 0 which then gets picked up at the end. Okay, so just whipping through here, let's just go through. Um, first check is, is the image file an actual image? So it's going to go through and check that. Now, if the check fails, it's false. Oh, so it doesn't fail. In other words, it says it's an image. And upload as one. Now, I don't actually need it to display anything, so I'm just going to comment that out. Then, otherwise, it is not an image, and it's going to fail that there. So we need to, we do want that kind of feedback in there. So that's going to go to there. I'm just getting everything lined up here so it looks a bit neater. Now it's going to check and see does this file actually exist already. So it checks does it already exist. Now that's probably a useful error for us to have. So we might actually leave that there. Um, checking the file size. Now this is going to give you a maximum of 500 um, kilobytes. So you can change that in there if you want to have larger images. Um, probably again not a bad error message to have displayed. Now certain file formats are going to be allowed um, JPEG, PNG and JPEG, it looks like GIF as well and again if it's not that type of error, if it's not that type of file it displays an error and it's going to get, set that upload OK variable to zero um, and now finally we check and see OK if it equals zero, then it's going to say, sorry, your file was not uploaded. Um, where are we? Otherwise, it's going to do something else. We're going to do this. It's going to try and move the files into the target location. It's actually going to do something with them. Now, I don't need it to. Let's just get this lined up here. Right, we're just about, just about there. Go there. All right. So, 
if it this line here is saying if it successfully moves the file into place then it's going to say file has been uploaded now we don't need that so I'm going to remove that but what I do want to do at this point then is I want to display the um, the image and all the content that the, per uh, the user has entered about that particular um, item right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off the PHP briefly turn it on back down there and in here we're just going to go ahead and put in some HTML so uh, well, this is our main content div so I'll just close that off down there oh goodness and uh, as a courtesy I'm just going to pop uh, a link allowing the user to go back to the index uh, to the admin page um, so we'll go back to admin oh, sorry gosh that would have been loud for you um, so I'll just go back to admin Now the next thing is we just want to have a little header, so I'll say confirm item details, and then we can start displaying them. So there's the name is going to go there, and the oh gosh, get this in right right order. Thumbnail image is going to go there. I'll put all the PHP in in a second. What else do we have? The category. Now that's going to be a real mission, but we'll get that one done as well. What else do we have? The price. The dollar sign would be nice. The top line. Wish I had not put so much in here now. And finally the description. Okay. So what I want to do in here then is I would like to echo out the value of the session, add stock, and the one that contains the name. So that's going to go there right after name and so I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in for the price one I'll handle the other two slightly differently um, I'll paste them for top line and description as well all right now the thumbnail is obviously going to be an image so we need an image tag image source equals now it is going to be in the images folder slash and then after the slash there but inside the um oh wait, close that down inside the speech marks I'm just gonna paste in that session and change that to the thumbnail session okay so let's just double check that works before I do the category part so uh where are we here testing I'll choose a file uh, I'll go for hollow star this is one of my students one if I submit that um, it insists that I didn't choose an image interesting right clearly made a mistake somewhere yeah well that figures that doesn't work try hollow star again to it upload it well it did upload it but it's not displaying it okay so you can see there's hollow star.png so it did successfully upload it what have I done wrong here let me look um, Oh, <laughs> I never actually set that session. Um, so, duh, not thinking. You know, if the um, the file that actually has a name, we should be setting that session. So back up here at the top, we've got add stock. Oh, okay, go. Really sorry if that confused you. It's confused me. Um, that's going to be equal to this files thing here. Oh, actually, I'll grab it from there. That should work better. Right, let's save that and try that again. Okay, off we go. So I choose Hollow Star. Oh, of course, it already exists. It's good to know the error catching works. Get rid of Hollow Star. There we go. This time. There. Now that is on our web server. It's been uploaded and it's been displayed. There's all our information. And if we go back, uh, well, our information is still there. Great, so we're making progress. All right, so I might just remove you, avoid some more errors. Okay, now moving on. Where are we, where are we? So we've got that working now. It's displaying all the information we want. Um, a bit of an issue is, though, of course, the category isn't displaying. So what we're going to need to do, I'll just clear a few lines here on a confirm page, is I'm going to need to run a query 
that goes and gets the name of the category because remember the category ID has been sent through. So I'm just going to go cat name underscore um, SQL. Let's see. Pal. All right, I just want to go select name from the category table where the category ID is equal to and concatenate on the session that contains that category ID. So add stock category ID. All right, and then we run that query. So cat name and I go QNY because that's the way I've always done it. <laughs> Two parameters: the database connection string and the name of the query itself. And finally, put it into an associative array or record set. Like SQLI. It's associative, and the thing that we're organising is the cat name query. And finally, let's echo whatever name came back. So cat name RS, and it was name is the uh, field name there. So let's see if that long-winded thing worked. Where are we? Yeah. So if I choose a file again, there it is, pants. If I go back, it still says pants. Let's just remove you. Okay, so we have the category displaying now. Now the little issue we have, of course, is um, what happens if they don't choose an image? And you can see here, we said if they do, we do all this stuff, if they did choose an image. Now if they didn't choose an image, we went all the way down below here, the code only runs if no image is selected. So what we're gonna do down here is instead of, you can see thumbnail, we said images equals yada yada yada. I'm just gonna copy all that HTML that we put in, displays all that information, copy that. And I'm just going to say else, paste that in there. Uh, don't paste it in there, that's PHP, so I need to turn that PHP off and then on again. Sorry about that. Paste that in. Now where it says thumbnail, what I'm actually going to do, um, it is going to be this add stock thumbnail, but what I want to do before I run that is I'm actually going to set that session to being a special stock image that I'm going to have to create. So thumbnail, and I'm just going to create an image called noimage.jpg. Okay, and as luck would have it, I prepared this earlier. I created an image. Um, it's 100 pixels by 150. It's the same as our thumbnails, um, and I just called it noimage.jpg. So it's just like a default image that will appear in there. So where am I? Back in my code. There. So this will now make it this make the session equal noimage.jpg and therefore that image will display there. Okay, so if I just test that now, if I have no file chosen and I come through here, it now gives me the no image. If I come back here and I choose the hollow star, it gives me the hollow star. Now of course the issue we've got here though is if I go back and forth and say I want to oh, no file chosen, I've got to uh, re-choose the hollow star. If I try and do that, I now get an error. So and that is because this image is already sitting on our server. So what I'm going to need to do is I am going to need to remove that image from the web server, I think. So if I go back here um, to the um, original add stock page, I think we want to remove that image. So if I go back to add stock here, and you can see at the top I've got um, the first time you come to this page we set all these things. The first thing I'm going to do is set the add stock thumbnail session uh, to that no image. Okay. But then of course you see if this isn't the first time we've been to this page, so in other words we're returning from the confirmation page, I want to check and see does that, that session here, this thumbnail session, does that equal something else? So in other words, does it not equal noimage.jpg? Because if it doesn't equal that, then, it, then the user must have selected an image, in which case I want to unlink it. And the image that I'm going to be unlinking is the images folder dot, and it's the name of that thumbnail. So what that should do is it will say if 
if they have chosen an image and we're returning back to this page from the confirmation page, this bit of code in here is going to run. It's going to check and see, did they actually enter something that wasn't noimage.jpx? In other words, they've selected one, in which case we'll delete it. Right, so here we go. I'm going to choose the hollow star. There we go. Confirm that it's on our web server. There it is. We go back. It has been removed from our web server, which means that I could then choose it a second time. Now I know that's not quite ideal because so I want to change the category from pants to something else, dresses perhaps. I do have to re-choose the file, but you are going to be given this no image available. Oop, that was the wrong one. I was meant to choose hollow star. Forward we go. Okay, so that all seems to be working as expected. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we'll add a link here that says yep, go ahead and enter that in and all this information will be inserted into the database. So I'll see you then.